Every girl dreams of having a Mamma Mia summer, and this year I was finally able to make that dream a reality. This video takes you through my two-week journey in Greece, starting in Santorini. After arriving in Santorini, we took some time to walk around our beautiful hostel before heading to Fira for dinner, where we caught our very first Greek sunset. Okay, so it actually is day three in Santorini, but I realized I forgot to film a bunch of stuff, so the next part won't really make sense. But um, basically on the plane coming to Santorini, I met these two girls, Julia and Alex. They're from BC and they've been traveling like through Switzerland, Italy, and Paris the past few weeks. And so we met up with them yesterday and today. Um, and luckily Julia has been filming everything so the next bit of footage might be mostly Julia's so thank you Julia Okay, so we are back at our place. We all got burnt, I think, in different <laughs> in different ways. But we got some food and then just kind of chilled. They were like, oh, you can have the lounge just for free, like the nice chairs with the umbrellas. So we're like, okay. And then we walked back over here. We got ready, getting ready. And then we're gonna go out again for some food. Everyone, you guys wanna show your outfits? <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> Good job, I'm glad. I like the shoes. Oh yeah, and then Alex, where did you get that dress? So pretty. Some random store. Yeah, she just got it today, if that's what you're wondering. Anyways, so that's the plan. We'll probably see you a lot later. Okay. It's like, it kind of it's like lasagna, but like a Greek version. I a Greek got, version I of lasagna. I'm excited. Got uh -huh. I got some pizza that's Greek, so you know, it's cool. I got Greek salad. <laughs> <laughs> We're all super original here. Okay, so we just got on the bus. After they were gone for like an hour and a half it on the first bus. It took us literally forever. <laughs> so long. It was so annoying. But now we're going to Ia. Okay, so we're in a dress shop right now and we're all getting stuff now. And so we thought we we're done with pictures, but no, we're like taking we're like, just like starting. Yeah, we're taking like 10 million more. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, this is her this is her skirt. <laughs> and then look at hers. Perfect. Yeah, look at her whole outfit. So mamma mia. This is my dress. Super, super cute. Oh, I love it. And it's like swishy. Anyways, we're on the side of the cliff, walking down, and we're trying to figure out this spot that Abby saw on TikTok. We're dying and we want to swim. Yeah, but we want to go off this cliff jump too. Watch the poop. Um, so anyways, we're on our way. A moody bay was so beautiful and calm. We spent so much time swimming and taking pictures, and it easily became one of my highlights of the entire trip. Okay, give us your reviews on the Moody Bay. So good, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous, it was like the best vibes. It was stunning. Now that we're trying to climb up like literally the mountain, we're already dead, taking a little break. And I love the little bay. We all did the jump. 
I didn't video me, but I swear I did it. Yep, yep, she did it. It was she real. Did. It took some convincing from some French men saying, Abby, saute, but I did it. All right, we're back. We made it to the top of the cliff. And we all got matching anklets, which is super cute. Yeah, they're adorable. We did a bunch of shopping, and my stomach is so full. I got a necklace, too. Oh, yeah, show the, show, show the haul. Yeah, perfect. That's, that, that's all the things. <laughs> and just, like... It's just so pretty here. I just can't get over it. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we're now in line to get on that bus. I feel like we're definitely not going to be able to get on it. There's so many people here. But this is the last time you guys will be seeing Abby so and Kathleen. Do you have any parting words you no, want to say to the vlog? We're coming to BC. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. We'll see them again. Hi, everyone. So today we are doing the volcano hike and hot spring swim. So I'm wearing my new necklace that I got and my little white thing from yesterday too because I burnt my entire back. Kathleen's wearing her Levi's and a cute little top. And now we're getting lunch and then we're gonna go buy me a hat because I didn't pack one. And then we're gonna go do the hike. Top. As you can see, there's a big tour behind us, and I was like, oh, let's just dance to Mamma Mia. There's, it's, there's no problem. It's fun. Let's dance. But then I totally wiped out in front of all those people coming down <laughs> on the rock, and now I'm, like, bleeding. All right, so we just came back from the hot springs. It wasn't hot. <laughs> no. We were so cold. We got out early and then just got back on the boat and warmed up. Um... The cut is actually better now. It's like just kind of dirty, so that's fine. We'll get some polysporin. And then we had the choice of a cable car for six euros or 600 steps. We chose the steps. <laughs> so sure. I'd say we're about like a quarter of the well, way that's up. Generous. Maybe less, but yeah, we're getting our steps in for the day. Okay, so we just arrived at the ferry and now we're going to Paros. It's so cute. Balcony reveal, come on. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my god, look at the sunset. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm in love. So this is our first day in Paros. And so we're gonna go explore the shops at Carikia and then go find a little cave area and maybe go to the beach. Grigia was straight out of a movie. It had so much beauty without all the crowds of Santorini. We spent the entire morning getting lost in the cobblestone streets in awe of all the blue buildings and pink flowers. Later in the afternoon, we decided to go on a hike to find a cave Kathleen saw on Google Maps. On the way, we got distracted by what we later named Cat Beach. After a pit stop of cuddling and naming all the cats, we started the hike. Okay, so we climbed down a bit of a hill back there. Now we're near a bunch of cliffs and we're in search for the cave. We'll update you if we find it. Hey everyone, so day two in Paros. Last night after our hike, we went back to the hostel 
and everyone was hanging out there so then we um, met up with them and went out to a bar where we also met eight Irish girls for fun and I think we're gonna go hang out with them again tonight but for today we decided to do a little day trip to Antiperos where a fun fact um, Tom Hanks has a place here maybe we'll see him but yes yeah, so now we're just exploring Antiperos for a little bit and might get some fruit later Antiperos was just like Peros, but even less crowded. There was one store where I loved absolutely everything they sold, but it was super expensive. So I decided I'll save any purchases there for if I move to Greece in the future with more money. After exploring a few more shops, we decided to head to the beach. All right, so we're walking back from the beach and it was like actually so windy <laughs> and so cold that I was just like, I don't know, we were like trying to get lay in the sand for warmth. Kathleen was like huddled in a ball. As we were leaving, we ran into the girls from our hostel again, but like we're really hungry. So now we're gonna go get, go get food and meet up with them later tonight. <laughs> After a busy night out, we decided to spend the day reading on the beach before heading to the town of Mausa, a picturesque fishing village. In the morning, when you walk away, my heart drops to the floor. They said it would get easier, but I don't know who for. Days move fast and now I swear, I can feel them slip away. A Licky about to do our boat tour. We have like an hour or so before our boat tour, so we're exploring A Licky and then yeah. Our final day in Peros. So yesterday was the boat tour. What were your thoughts? It was fun. Everyone was like pretty like social and friendly, but the water was cold. It was cold. Um, but then we also got breakfast with someone we met on the boat who was in our hostel, Devin. She left though, so now we're at the beach with Scar. Scar. We named him Scar. He's got the white little scar on his face. He's very cute. Wants our to steal our food though. Our ferries at 7 p.m. So we're just gonna chill here for the rest of the day. We just got in Milos, and instead of paying for a taxi, we decided to walk. It's Yay. about 35 to 40 minute walk, Woo. but we can do it. We're not backpacking, we're just dragging our suitcases along the sand. But yeah, we're really embracing budget traveling right now because we do not want to pay for um, a taxi. was 40 minutes we're here now bathroom <laughs> bed Ooh, we have a tv in this one this is luxurious <laughs> wow but yeah we're trying to figure out the air conditioning now and then we're gonna have a shower and yeah maybe rent an atv tomorrow or go to the beach Sarah Kaniko Beach was absolutely beautiful. The entire time we felt like we were walking on the moon. It was surreal. It was safe to say that we would be returning to this beach later in our trip. And by later, we met the following three days. Hey guys, 
guys, so we met up with some people we met in Paros and went to Sarah Canico Beach. I loved it. Your thoughts? So pretty. It's really so fun. pretty, so fun. We'll be there every day. And now we are hiking to a village called Mandrakia, I think. Madrakia. I don't know. To get like dinner, maybe gelato. And if we don't find it, we'll just hike back. But we're just walking along the beach. We started our second day in Milos off by looking at all the shops and cafes in Placa. Then we wanted to do some exploring, so we set off to see the ancient theater, castle, and church. For our final day in Milos, we woke up at 5.30 to head back to Sarah Camigo Beach to watch the sunrise. This was a moment I'll never forget. Along with having our own photo shoot, we helped a man with his proposal by getting footage on his drone, then taking pictures of them afterwards. The sunrise was so beautiful that it made it even harder to leave Milos and head to Athens later in the afternoon. Hey guys, welcome to Athens. So we just got to our Airbnb and to be honest, the entrance was really sketchy. It was like down an alley that had graffiti and then into like, it looked like a garage kind of. And then you go like through a dark, hallway up to our room but our room is actually really pretty this is our kitchen we have a little stove a fridge in here sink the bathroom has a shower with a shower head attached to the roof which is luxurious compared to our last places and then we have a little eating area a big bed and a little porch and over there you can kind of the Acropolis. We spent our days in Athens doing a combination of viewing the archaeological sites, browsing thrift stores, walking through the Monastery Rocky Flea Market, and eating lots of food. Unfortunately though, after our luxury of having the Greek islands all to ourselves, we found Athens to be overwhelming, especially near the Acropolis, because of the hot sun and hundreds of tourists waiting in line. Hey everyone, for our last day in Greece, we just got back from our brunch at this really cute Alice in Wonderland themed place. I got crepes and Kathleen got pancakes and of course we got sangrias because why not and yeah now in a couple hours we're heading off to our cooking class. Okay, so we just got back from our cooking class. It was really fun. Um, everyone there was really old, but they were fun to talk to. Um, yeah, we're really full after that. We made a lot of stuff, but it was super fun. And now we're back in the room packing up our stuff before we leave tomorrow. Okay, so we just got to Toronto after like an 11 hour flight. And that's officially a wrap on our Greece trip. I'm so sad. So